Here with Chris Duffy, former UCF All-American, Philadelphia Phillies organization. Chris, good to have you back here at UCF. Yep, nice to be back, man. Nice to be back. How's working out going here at UCF this offseason? It's great, man. We have a beautiful facility here, and I'm just taking advantage of it. That uh, I'm blessed to have went to a college where close to home where I can go back and work out on the field. And uh, Coach Rooney, he wants us to come up, and I want to be around the team as much as possible as well. So it's a, it's really actually a blessing to be a, to have a facility like this to work out at during the offseason. How many guys do you usually come up here that you work out with on a regular basis? Uh, yeah, me, usually me and Shane. Team we made from college. Shane Everybody, Brown, yeah. Yep. Me and my buddy Shane, we are uh, usually texting each other, hey, when are you going to be up at the field so we can toss each other or throw to each other? And uh, we try to get up here about three to four times a week. Uh, especially we're going to be uh, getting it going before the uh, before we got to go away to spring training. So it's pretty much just getting out working. How's uh, you know your year? You were telling me about your year in the Phillies organization. Give, <laughs> give, the, give the fans a little play by play. You were moving up and down a couple yeah, of levels. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a, it's definitely a grind, and it's a grind I don't mind because you know you love playing baseball. Uh, you know, uh, the first two years out of college after I got drafted, um, I spent two years in rookie ball, which uh, which is okay, and uh, I, I, it taught me a little a little bit about myself and uh, how you got to be strong and keep on pushing. And then uh, I ended up going uh, last year to Low A. Um, I went to Low A in, in um, Lakewood, uh, New Jersey, and then uh, they moved me up to High A, and then they moved me back down to Low A. <laughs> I tore it up there, and then they moved me up, and I finished the year back in High A. So uh, you know, you ha you have different. Uh, it's pretty much a roller coaster ride, a little bit. Um, you have ups, you have downs. You know, your emotions get involved, your passion gets involved. You know, you play, and uh, you just got to keep on pushing. And I'm gonna keep on climbing until I get to the big league. So. I know you had a cool moment. You were uh, you were in Lakewood in yeah. Ryan Howard's rehabbing. Yeah. <laughs> you played with Ryan Howard for a couple games, right? That was awesome. That was awesome, man. It was a good experience. It was, it was a great experience because you know you play with that. You you play PlayStation or uh, yep. or Nintendo growing up, and uh, you know you play with Ryan Howard, and it's it's cool watching him on TV and stuff. And then you're in the same dugout with him on the same field, warming up with him, and it's pretty cool. And uh, you know that's just an example of where I want to be at, and that's my goal to uh, you know eventually sign a big contract like that you know and uh to play in the big league so it was a good example you know for me to see and uh it also helped me to see that i can do it you know it, it helped me to realize that hey it's right around the corner so in one of those games did you have the game winning hit yeah did i did i did have in? to walk out yeah uh, well he hit the sack fly that moved okay. the runners over that allowed me to get the runners in and it's funny that you say that because when I was on deck, he was up to bat, and he's like, Duff, be ready to win this game. <laughs> and, wow. uh, it, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. And uh, I went up there. I was like, all right, bro, if you say so. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I think I got a, I think it was a 1-0 count. I hit a line drive up the middle. The runner scored. And it was a really good feeling in baseball. And uh, it was good to make uh, 10,000 people in the stadium stand up. You don't know that, that. That feeling is a really good feeling. And I know that. If I can make 10,000 people stand up in, in Lakewood, I can make 30,000 plus stand up in Philly or in any other major league park. So, you know, it, it, it was really a good experience. That sounds like it. Now you're <laughs> playing primarily first base. What, what position are you playing? I'm, right uh, they have me at first base, working okay. hard at first base. But, uh, I mean, I could be playing anywhere. I might end up in the outfield. Um, like just you like were I here. Yeah, yeah, just like I was here. So, you know, I'm just going to keep on hitting, keep on uh, doing my thing, and, you know, we'll see where it takes me. Uh, talk about what it's like. Uh, seeing UCF continue to do well. I know uh, you graduated in 2010, yeah. and then you know back-to-back -back regional appearances for these guys. Right. How, often, how close do you follow the team, uh, even though you're Yeah, I'm kind of mad because we, we don't decide to go to a regional until the, until the years I leave. I was, I was asking Rooney, what's up with that, man? <laughs> but it's, it's, it's great. It's great, though, uh, seeing them. I was watching them on TV against, uh, I think they were playing Stony Brook and, uh, and all those guys. It was good to, to watch them on TV and see them um, doing what we were trying to do. Uh, hopefully, we set the foundation, and uh, you know they just run from it. And, uh, Coach Rooney's doing a good job with the guys, so it's going to keep it up. Uh, you got guys like Jonathan Griffin killing it in the minor leagues. You saw DJ Hicks had <laughs> yeah, a walk up grand Hicks, slam. How Griffin, cool was it to see you know, Ronnie? All you guys have big hits in the minor leagues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's good. It's a good feeling because you play with those guys and you realize what it takes to get there. It takes consistently working hard and keeping on. You know, every, everybody has their different road or their different path to get there or to try to make it. You know, and you see those guys before we get drafted and how we want to get drafted. And then you guys see you see them after and how they're dealing with the same things you're dealing with. Trying to make it to the big, big leagues. I remember DJ 
uh, he had a lot of trials and you know a lot of things put before him and uh, you know he worked through it and I mean he's up there playing and he had a great season so he was, we, we're just gonna keep on moving and keep on trying to get to the big league so it, it just shows that UCF's a great place for people to move up in definitely. the ranks right definitely definitely you come to UCF it's a good uh it's a good environment to play in and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great way great facilities and it's a great way to get better so I know I'm pretty excited but you got to be excited about the stadium expansions you got the the yeah, seats up here cool. now yeah, that's pretty cool I told him the first game I come to this year I'm gonna be sitting up here watching it watching over him. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool it'll be perfect February 15th thanks a lot for yeah. the time Chris thank you appreciate it